publication education for excellence chapter 5 more on ms powerpoint 2010 you will learn in this chapter powerpoint themes sample templates slide master animation transitions insert audio and video to slides to create and design effective presentation powerpoint allows us to create and show slides to support our oral presentation we can use text graphics animation effects and multimedia contents like audio and video to create the presentation in addition to make our presentation more appealing multimedia is very effective tool in this chapter you will learn to use themes templates a presentation using slide master animation transitions and using audio and videos in slide themes a theme is a predefined combinations of colors fonts and effects that can be appeared to your presentation powerpoint includes built in themes that allows you to see create professional looking presentation without spending a lot of time in formatting theme elements so what are some theme elements so following are the some theme elements number 1 theme color available in every color menu second is theme font available in any font menu number 3 shape styles available in format tab when you click a shape applying themes to apply themes follow these steps first click on file tab number 2 click on new command number 3 click on theme options a list of available themes is displayed select the desired themes from the list number 4 click on create to create a first slide of the presentation number 5 add a new slide from the home tab number 6 Type the contents and pictures in the slide as a per the slide layout and change theme elements. Sample templates. So what is template? A template is a ready to use design for a presentation. A template contains some slides with different themes, backgrounds and layouts. Now how to create a presentation by using a sample templates? To create a presentation using a template follow these steps number 1 click on file tab number 2 click on new command number 3 click on sample template option a list of available template display select the desired template from the list number 4 click on create button to create presentation using templates number 5 type your text to create presentation slide master Slide Master views as special features in PowerPoint that allows you to modify the slide and slide layout in your presentation. The change or you make to a Slide Masters are appear applied to all the slides of the presentation. You can also modify individual slides which will change any slides using this layout. With the help of Slide Master, you can save time when you have to uh, present lot of slides. You can perform tasks in a Slide Master. Number one, modifying backgrounds. Slide Master views makes it easy to customize the background. Number two, rearranging placeholders. You can often use this to rearrange the placeholder on the slides. Number three. customizing text formatting you can customize text format color change all the slides at once creating unique slide layout you can use slide master view to create your own layout custom layout and can includes your own background graphics placeholders and more now working with the slide master to use slide master in presentation follow these steps number 1 click on the view tab number 2 click on the slide master option the presentation switch to the slide master view near to your file tab name as slide master appear on the ribbon in the left panel the side the first slide is a slide master once the slide master is added in the presentation now we can add a text box applying a theme change the color schemes 
of the themes and change background colors of the slide. You need to apply formatting effects to the slide master only. The other slides of the presentation automatically get formatted. Animation. Any special effects that add to text and objects on the slide is known as animation. In PowerPoint, you can animate text, objects such as clip art, shapes and pictures. Animation on the slides can be used to draw the audience attention, to specify contents or to make the slide easy to read. There are different types of animations effects you can choose from and they can be organized into four types. Number one, entrance. This control how the object enter in the slide. For example, with the fade animation, the object will simply fade away. Number two, emphasize. This animation occurs when the object is on the slide and often triggered by a mouse click. For example, you can set an object to spin when the click of the mouse. Number three, exit. This control how the object exit the slide. For example, with the zoom animation, the object will simply zoom and exit away. Path, mo motion path. Fourth is that is motion path. These are similar to emphasize effects except the objects move within the slide along a pre-determined path like a circle. Apply an animation to an object. To apply an animation effects, follow these steps. Number one, select an object you wish to animate. Number two, click on animation tab. Number three, in the animation group, click on more drop down arrow to view the available animations. Number four, you will see preview of the animation effects on the slide. You can select individual ob objects and apply different animation effects to each of them. Now, next is transactions. Transitions are the motions effects that, uh, that is added to your slideshow view which add movements to the slides as you move from one slide to another. There are different transitions to choose from. Each one of them allows to control the speed and even add sounds. Transition makes a presentation attractive and interesting. There are three categories of unique transitions to choose from all of which founded on the transition table. This transition are first is subtitle, that is slight transitions, as you see here. Number is exciting, strong transitions, this are. And number three is dynamic contest. This are dynamic contest. Apply a slight transition. To apply a side transition effect to a slide, follow these steps. Number one, select the time slide you wanted to apply transition. Number two, click the transition tab. Number three, choose the transition from this slide group. Number four, click on more drop down arrow to display all the transactions. Number five, click a transaction to apply it to the selected slides. This will automatically preview as well as number six, click on the drop down arrow and effect or effect options. Number seven, to apply the selected transition effects to all slides, click on apply to all. Preview a transaction. To preview a transaction for a selected slide at any time, either or using two, two methods. Number one, click the preview command on the transaction tab. Second, click the star play animation icon. The icon appears on the slide tabs in the left pen beside any slides that includes a transaction. Inserting audio and video to your presentation or a slide. We can add audio and video to our presentation. These files could be any recorded music, audio or video which we stored in our computer or any ready to use music or video available with PowerPoint. Inserting audio. You can insert audio read files in your slides in three ways. Number one, insert an audio from a file. Second, insert from clip art audio. Number three, insert recorded audio directly. So first is insert an audio from the file. To insert an audio from the file, follow these steps. Number one, click on insert tab. Number two, click audio command from the media group and select 
audio from the file option. Number three, insert audio dialog box will open. Number four, browse and locate your sound file and click insert button. Number five, the audio file with speaker icon appears your slide. Number six, when you click on speaker icon, you can play an audio file. Second, insert from clipart audio. To insert a clipart audio, follow these steps. Number one, click on insert tab. Number two, click audio command from the media group and select insert art audio option. Number three, the insert art pan will appear on the right. Number four, there is a search for option where we can enter the keyword of our desired sound, which is stored in clipart. Select the desired sound. Number six, the speaker icon will appear on your slide. Number seven, when you click on the speaker icon, click on play button to play the audio. Now the third is insert recorded audio directly. To insert recorded audio directly, follow these steps. Number one, click on insert tab. Number two, click audio command from the media group, select record audio. Number three, the audio records box sound appears. Number four, type the name of recording you wanted to. Number five, click the red button, recording started. After finishing recording, click on the stop button. Number six, click play to recent recording, click it on OK button. Seven, the audio file will insert it and the speaker icon will display on the slide. Inserted video. As we see, to how to insert an audio in a, in a presentation, in the similar way we can insert a video file in our slide. Here also there are three ways to insert a video file in your slide. The number one is insert the video from the file. Number two, insert the video directly from the website. Number three, insert clip art video. Now let us see one by one. Number one first is that is insert a video from a file. To insert a video file that is stored on your computer, follow these steps. Number one, select the insert tab. Number two, click on video command from the media group, select video from file. Number three, the insert video dialog box will appear. Now browse and locate your video files and, and click on insert button. Number five, an icon of the file, video file appears on the slide. Number six, the video file control will appear below the movie clips. Number seven, click on play button to play the video file. Now the second way of inserting video is insert a video directly from the website. We can add video from internet that we have uploaded on the internet. Number one, for, for this we have to use the following steps. Number one, click on insert tab. Number two, click video command from the media group and select video from the website. The insert video for website dialog box appears. Number four, type the link of video in the box. Number five, click the insert button. Number six, the link of video appears on the screen and we can watch the video online. You, are, need, you need internet connection to watch this video. Number third, that is insert a clip art video. To insert a clip art video, follow these steps. Number one, click on insert tab button. Number two, click audio command for media group and select clip art audio option. Number three, clip art pan will appear on the right side. There is a search option where we can enter the keyword of our desired sounds. Number five, select the desired video. Number six, the video appears on the slide. And number seven, run the slide and run the slide to slideshow the watch to the video.